In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to deploy NADN using Railway. For most people, I think that the hobby server is going to work best for you. That being said, if you're using a production environment or you have a lot of workflows running, the Pro might be a little bit better. Now, once you've chosen a subscription and created your account, go ahead and click this new button up at the top right and let's deploy a new empty project. Beautiful. And then under add a service, go ahead and click template and type in NADEN. Now this first one, NADEN with workers is pretty great. So we're going to deploy this one. Beautiful. And let me explain what is going on here really quickly so you guys understand. Basically, we have our primary NADEN instance. Now this is where you get to see the UI and all the cool stuff. However, this is not where the work happens. The work actually happens on this worker in Eden instance. Now it's set up this way so that you, the user, can use the primary instance without much lag and it just feels like a more seamless experience. Next we have our Postgres. Now this is our database for the NADN. And this is where we're gonna store all the information about the workflows and the credentials and stuff like that. And then finally we have Redis and Redis is used for caching, it makes things a little bit faster, not entirely necessary, but it does help. All right, now that everything has been deployed, all you have to do to check it out is click on primary and click on this link here and you can see it is deployed, but we don't just do this. We also want a custom URL, right? So go ahead and buy a custom URL somewhere, hook it up to Cloudflare or wherever your DNS is and open that up. So now that I have my DNS settings up for the URL I would like to use, let's go back over to Railway. Let's click on primary and then settings, scroll down, click custom domain, and this one I'm gonna put test.horizon.dev. Beautiful, we'll click add domain and we'll go ahead and create a CNAME record with name test to this value. Copy that value here. Go down, add a record, type CNAME test value. Make sure it's not proxy via Cloudflare because Railway will handle SSL. And let's click save. And then we go back over to Railway and we click dismiss. Now this will take a little bit to verify. Last time it took me about five minutes, but that being said, it can vary. Okay, that time I waited about five minutes. So it says the setup is complete. So let's go ahead and click on the link and we can see that NADIV is working and we're good to go. Now, I've been using Railway for a couple weeks now and I gotta say it's really easy to manage. It's really easy to use and it works pretty good at scale. Being said, if you have an application that is massively big and you need some real, real big guns on the server, I don't think Railway is for you, but for most people doing most projects for fun or for clients and in production environments that are relatively small to medium sized, I think Railway is a great solution. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like some more help with NADN, I am hosting a free community to help you guys out. There we have challenges to earn some real cash money. I also answer any question that gets posted in the group. So if that's something you're interested in, please check out the link down below. And you guys have a wonderful day.